Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is Idioms 275. The idiom today is between a rock and a hard place. Okay, let's take a look at the note here. Uh, if someone finds themselves or ends up between a rock and a hard place, it means he or she is in a very difficult predicament, usually with two very unpleasant choices. Like, yeah, if I do this, I got this problem. If I do that, I got that problem. And both are not good, and it's hard to choose which is the the least uh, dangerous or the you know the least one that you want to try to avoid. So you end up between a rock and a hard place. All right, let's continue. Uh, one belief of the origin is that, that it comes directly from ancient Greek mythology. Okay, in the story of Homer's uh, Odyssey, uh, the character Odysseus must go between. Uh, Charybdis, I guess, a dangerous whirlpool, okay, uh, you know, because he's, he's actually on a ship uh, and, and a cliff here, and a man-eating monster that dwells along the cliff. So he's got to go between the two of them, and it's dangerous because, uh, you know, you got the whirlpool on this side, you got the man-eating monster on that side, and it's a very narrow area that he has to go through so it's it was between a rock and a hard place yeah i had i guess the rock must have been the man-eating uh rock basically the cliffs and the whirlpool must have been the hard place in this case all right let's continue here though uh, a second possibility of an origin uh relates to a financial crisis of the u.s bankers panic of 1907 okay Many of the miners demanded more pay and better conditions. Yeah, I think the financial crisis cost the miners. I think they were they were cutting their pay, or they made their pay more difficult, and they demanded more pay uh, or better better conditions. The mining companies refused to pay more, uh, and the miners were left with the choice of underpaid wage being uh, a rock and being unemployed a hard place. So this is what some people think. So you got some people think the Greek mythology story is, is the real origin, and you got some others thinking that this 1907 banker's panic with the miners was the one that actually developed into this phrase. So could be either one. Uh, let's continue here. All right, we just got a couple of examples of the way it is used today. All right, example number one. Uh, ever since the 2008 financial crisis, the pigs countries, remember pigs, you know, was it Portugal, Ireland, and Italy, so we had two eyes, Greece and Spain, they were the ones who were in all the financial trouble in Europe. Well, the ones that were in more financial trouble, we should say, uh, of Europe have been caught between a rock and a hard place. Okay. Either take out more loans and go deeper into debt, which they could already not afford to pay, uh, or just completely uh, collapse and go bankrupt, uh, which they didn't seem to want to allow them to do. So they were really caught between a rock and a hard place. Both choices were very bad. There's no good choice here. All right, and um, number two, we could say uh, that foreman, you know, kind of like a low-level supervisor, was caught between a rock and a hard place. He had to either fire his good friend or his best, most productive worker. Really, he doesn't want to have to do either one of these things. Uh, so he is caught between a rock and a hard place. Anyway, uh, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.